Hello everyone, in this short uh, video tutorial I'm going to solve some questions related to chapter 14. There are not uh, enough problem walkthrough videos on your MindTap course, so I decided to solve more questions that will be helpful for your exam and for your assignment as well. So here we have a question about investment decision. A manufacturing company is thinking about building a new factory. The factory if built will yield the company 300 million in 7 years. So what we have here is that the project is expected to bring at t is equal to 7 after 7 years 300 million dollars. And today it's let's assume that today is 1 and the project would cost 220 million dollars. If the interest rate is 4% should the firm build the company so we need to understand here whether the cost is smaller than the expected revenue or the reverse. So we don't know whether it's greater or less than. So in economics, when we make decision, we usually compare cost and benefit. And in this case, the benefit is the future expected revenue and the cost is what we pay today. But we cannot compare cost and benefit as if they are uh, given in the question. The reason is because they are not in the t in the same time period. We have to either find the present value of this number and then compare cost and benefit or we find a future value of this number and then compare cost and benefit. Let's find the present value of future profit. So we want to find out the present value. Present value formula is future value divided by 1 plus r. r is the interest rate in decimal form to the number of periods, in this case years. So the present value is going to be, the future value is 300 million, interest rate is 4%, 4% means 0 0.04, therefore 1 plus 0 0.04, and it's 7 years, therefore n is 7. Now we need to make a calculation, this is easy, 1.04 to the power 7. Now what is this number? We can find this by using Google Calculator or any scientific calculator. Let's use for now Google Calculator. And here you can see on the screen the Google Calculator. Then I'm going to write here 1.04 to the power 7. And that's equal to 1.31593. And now I want to use this number and then divide 300 by this number to find the present value. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to save this as answer and now type 300 divided by answer and that's equal to 227.975. So this is the present value of the 300 million dollars that will be received in 7 years. Let's go back to the question. So what we have here is that this number is equal to 220 eight million dollars. Now we can compare. Okay, we have two numbers now. We have the cost that we pay today, 220 million, and the benefit or expected revenue, present value of the expected revenue, which is equal to now 228 million. As you see, expected revenue of um, this project is much higher than the cost, therefore we should build the project. That's how we answer this type of questions. Now let's look at this one. Suppose the interest rate is 10% that you are to receive two annual payments of 5000 but the first payment is today. So today, let's assume t is equal to 0, you receive $5000. And then the second payment is going to be one year later, $5000. Now we want to find the present value of the stream of payments. We don't need to find a present value of 5,000 we received today because it's $5,000. But we need to find a present value of this number because we are going to receive it in a future period. So present value is future value divided by 1 plus r to the power n and represents the number of years. Present value is 5,000 is the future value. 1 plus 10% is 0.1 to the power 1, which in this case 5000 divided by 1.1. You can just find this by using your calculator on your phone. 
and you are going to divide 5000 by 1.1 which is equivalent to $4,545.5 so the present value 5000 from today plus the present value of 5000 that I will receive in a year which is 4545.5 and that's equal to $9,545.5 Let's look at this one. If the interest rate is 5%, then what is the future value of 5000 to be received in 5 years? Future value formula is such that present value times 1 plus R to the power N. So we are interested in the future value. We know the present value, which is the 5000. 1 plus 0 0.05, that's the interest rate, and the number of years is 5. Therefore, 5000 times 1.05 to the power 5. Again, you can calculate this part using your Google calculator. Now we have 1.05 to the power 5, which is equal to 1.276, and we are going to multiply this by 5000. That's equal to 6,381.4. So that number is equal to 6,381.4. Okay. That is the future value of 5,000 if the interest rate is 5% over 5 years. And now we have the last question. Rita puts 10,000 into each of two different assets. The first asset pays, let's say asset A pays 10% and asset B pays 5%. According to the rule of 70, what is the approximate difference in the value of the two assets after 14 years? So rule of 70 tells us that how many years you need to double the initial amount given the interest rate. If the interest rate is 10%, 70 divided by 10, every seven years the initial amount is going to be double. So we have 14 years. In 14 years, we have two seven years. Okay, this is the first one to seven and from seven to 14. So you started with 10K and it's going to double in seven years becomes 20K and 20K is going to double and then becomes 40K in 14 years. Now let's look at this one. Asset B pays 5%. Rule of 70 tells us that it takes 14 years to double the initial amount. So this is 1 to 14. We don't need to divide into 2 because 14 years, only one time the asset can double. 10K times 2, 20K. So after 14 years, asset A has 40K in it. Asset B has only 20K in it. So the difference between two assets will be 20K. So that's how you can solve the different types of questions in chapter 14. I hope this video is helpful.